Starting off with some breaking developments coming in right this minute uh, from Jammu and Kashmir in India, where a police officer has been shot dead by terrorists in Pulwama district in Jammu and Kashmir. The police officer has been uh, shot dead uh, in Pulwama after terrorists uh, gunned down the officer at his uh, residence. Uh, these are the unfortunate developments that we are getting to you at this hour. Uh, search operations continue after the police officer was shot dead in Pulwama. Let's get in uh, more details on this uh, developing story from our correspondent Khalid Hussain, who's joining us over the phone line from uh, Jammu and Kashmir. Khalid, what, uh, what are the initial details that you have at this point? Well, uh, uh, what police have told us that uh, at around 5.45 p.m. It, uh, it's a good through village of Aripal Tasil and it falls in South Kashmir's uh, Pulwama district where ASPO, namely uh, Halim Ahmad, was shot dead by unknown militants at his residence. He was inside the house when they bragged in and uh, uh, fired so many shots on him and he died on spot. After that, uh, the police officials and CRP of the cordon of the area and the search and hunt of the uh, for the killers have been started in the area, but uh, the incident has took place uh, in here once again. A SPO, a special police official, has been killed by the unknown militants. They uh, do those kind of uh, uh, incidents we are witnessing day by day. Uh, we have seen in Shupian where a political activist was shot day, uh, just two days before. Before that, we saw uh, an attack in uh, the North Kashmir area of Hajan. So these type of attacks are going on and this is uh, simply the message that uh, militants want to flow in Kashmir that uh, as they have told in their videos that police officials and other security persons were basically Kashmiris should stay away from the going into the security agencies and working there. So uh, once again they have stuck in the Dral area which is highly dominated by the militants and uh, this is a matter of concern for uh, uh, security agencies because uh, there are hundreds of uh, Kashmiris who are working in uh, uh, with the army, CRP, or BSF or Jammu Kashmir police. So their security at their homes is very much concerned for the security agencies. Already advisories right. have been issued that uh, they should take precautions while going on home. Right, Khalid, uh, just before we let you go quickly, uh, any particular reason that, that this officer has been targeted? Uh, what more do we know about uh, this officer's uh, uh, background? Has there been any incident taking place in the recent past which suggests why this officer particularly has been targeted? Well, uh, uh, this is an SPO post which is a special police official. This is not, uh, we cannot say that he is fully recruited in the uh, uh, in the police forces, but they, uh, uh, a few years back, the special uh, recruitment was done by of the SPOs, and those kinds of peer SPOs are targeted in the past also. So, being an SPO and working with the uh, Jammu Kashmir police is okay. the main reason behind this attack, which has been seen this time. So, there is not any particular input that uh, he was uh, shot before uh, for some other reason, but he was. Uh, in police and was working for the uh, Jammu Kashmir police and that too from the South Kashmir where it's a militancy dominated area. Right. So this is the primary reason which has been seen that the police official Ali Mahmoud has been killed by the unknown militants. Alright, we're going to leave it there for the moment, Khalid. Appreciate those details. Uh, keep a close eye on the latest coming in after that officer has been shot dead at his residence by terrorists. This taking place in Pulwama district while the entire area has been cordoned off and search operations continue.